What is up guys, DigitalNex, and today we're looking at some scary videos, all right? So grab your comfiest blankie and let's just go ahead and jump right in. Right there, as soon as I would have heard that, <laughs> I would have started laughing. You have me like, your voice breaking, you going through puberty? Shut up, nerd. That ain't, imagine, if the clown from it said, hey, uh, Georgie, Georgie, you want to see a cool trick? You're not going to be scared of that. You know, he would have been defeated right there. No one's scared of him. Everyone would have ganged up on him. <laughs> elevator taking way too long. Take the stairs. It, it's faster. You, The elevator's... Enough time has passed where this guy's a beekaboo and he sent you a text message. I don't know how he found your number, but you know, take the stairs. Beekaboo. See, I would have gone down that one flight and been like, shut up. Shut up! All right, let me, let me catch my breath. Now, now I'll keep going, all right? When's the last time you ran full sprint? <laughs> My full power. <laughs> it ain't happening here. I call shenanigans, that door could open, all right? I hardly doubt that door wasn't gonna open. Here, here's next quick tips and survival guides for surviving whatever's going on right now, all right? So a guy sends you a picture of yourself and you're like, whoa, that's creepy. He's like, peekaboo. And you're like, oh man, I'm by myself in this parking garage where clearly other people have been because there's plenty of parked cars. You know what I should probably do if you think you're in danger? Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and pull the fire alarm. I'm gonna pull the fire alarm. That's gonna sound the alarm for the entire building. Get everyone out. Now you won't be alone. Whoa, crazy idea. Insane. Or if you for some reason can't find a fire alarm and nothing, start jumping on cars. Enough car alarms go off, people are gonna start, you know. Security has to be like, hey, what's going on? Why are so many car alarms going off? Do something to make noise. This girl's way too quiet. I'm sorry I went off on a tangent. Let's keep going. <laughs> I'm so confused the structure of this parking garage. So she was on a floor of a parking garage trying to go to another floor where her car was at. But when she's going down the stairs of the parking garage, the doors open up to more parking garages. I mean, you're not just already in the parking garage. Like, I, I'm trying to wrap my head around how this thing is built. It makes no sense, but go off. My thing is she's gonna look around and she's gonna be like, oh. I don't see him anywhere, so it must be safe. Instead of just driving and taking off. I mean, why are you looking around outside? First thing I would have looked at, back seat. He ain't back there. You're okay. If he appears back there, he's a cheater. You're not allowed to cheat in this situation. It makes sense that it was a dream because that parking garage, like I said, didn't make sense. Also, why are you not freaking out that someone's chasing you? I would have been like, ah, ah, so, you know, help me. Por favor, ayudame, someone, anyone, Oprah, help, help me. Oh, I didn't mean to pause that. I see you. I guess you do see me. My thing is, I I want to see one where you think the 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 scary person, you know, they're supposed to be scary, but the person they're hunting, I want them to be scary too. And then they freak out the the scary person, you know? They're like, I wasn't expecting this. I'm getting scared. You hunting me? I, well, what's going on here? Did you Uno reverse me? One happy new year. <laughs> 
So we're starting off the story strong. Sad, lonely woman is sad and lonely. Spending New Year's by herself. Who's there? <laughs> See, any, any untrained person would have just been like, who there? Who there? And then gone back to things like they were normal. I see, she already got her suitcase right there. I would have grabbed my suitcase and myself and been like, who's there? I'm gonna find you as I walk outside of my hotel room and check out. And I surround myself at the airport with tons of people and tons of security cameras because I know you won't do anything that would expose yourself because you're a coward. And then left. Hey, can you keep it down please? No. Get out, it sounds like I have a ghost in your room. I'm staying because my room's haunt free. The room next door to me keeps banging on the wall. Is there something you can do about that? I'm sorry, but there's no one checked into the room next to you. Do you think you checked the right room? Yes, you're the only one on the third floor. Okay, as soon as he said you're the only one on the third floor, I've been like, hey, listen, I need you to call 911. I'm having an asthma attack. I can't breathe. Get everyone, I need at least like 200 people up on the third floor right now. Someone help me. Hang up, you would've been fine. What do they do? Oh, the elevator's down. The stairs aren't down. They sure aren't. I'm telling you, man. I, I would survive a horror movie. Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Don't go to Texas. Survive. The Grudge. Don't, I don't have a VCR. I'm fine. Chucky. I would literally kick that doll into outer space. My dude has no reach. Michael Myers, just some dude. Last movie, the whole town beat him up. <laughs> just some old, <laughs> this is elder abuse at that point. <laughs> Freddy Krueger, joke's on him. Uh, one of those people that know how to like, one of those people that know how to like control their dreams. I can't remember the word, but I would make him miserable. He'd be like, let me out, please. I'm like, but Freddy, I'm a material girl. <laughs> He's like, please. I'd make him watch all the anime with me. He'd be miserable. Can you send someone to check, please? Sure thing. I'll send someone now. Hello? Is anyone in here? So let me get this straight. The hotel gets a call that there's banging, very loud banging from a room that no one's supposed to be in. And there's only one person on that entire floor, but apparently there's crazy banging coming from this room. So our our thought process as a, a hotel, a crazy business where people stay the night is that we're gonna send this, this girl by herself to go check this room. What a smart idea. Anyone there? Anyone there? I don't like ASMR. Stop whispering. It triggers me, please. I don't like when you whisper. Stop. It's a very yellow room. Why do you gotta call friend Des from that room? I would have got in and got out. I would have left. You saw everything. Go report to them in person. Front desk. There's no one in here. I'll let her know. Ooh, that one was good. I want to turn around and ah! <laughs> Please! Go get the lonely lady next door. She's the one complaining. I didn't care if you were in here or not. Also, if I heard that next door, I would have already been gone. I would have been at the airport going back home. Hello. Hi. Check the other room. No one's there. Can I help you with anything else? No. I don't feel bad for this lady. If she goes, she goes. She had plenty of times. She also could have told the front desk, hey, I heard a girl screaming in there. Did you happen to send a girl up to that room? And the front desk is like, yeah, but she said no one was in there. Well, I heard her scream like she needed like 200 people up on this floor right now. So I would probably send them and then hung up. You were able to leave. 
Why are you going over there? Dip, get out of there. Bye. I'm in the room next door. Can you please stop banging on the walls? Ooh, what is she gonna find? Thank you, scary ominous door for opening yourself and letting me come into a very dark room where I heard strange noises. You know, and I, I don't want people to be in the comments. Digital, you're just a coward. She's brave. There's a difference between brave and stupid. She's not brave. I'm smart. I get out of the situation that could potentially, you know, be my end. I'm like, not today. It's not looking good for me. <laughs> what are you gonna do you know some people are just you know survival of the fittest i guess this is this is why i like scary stuff because i not only is it fun to watch but i like to see how how would you go about the whole situation all right, you guys, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. You guys are absolutely amazing. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to hit that like button to turn on that little bell for notifications so you know when I go live or I post a new video. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.